That big black fish gold dust, that's the French angel. French angel. They will come right up to the boat. The black and white fish with the red tummy is the spotted or stoplight crab fish. Female. The yellow tube that they hold in the center, they're the pipe sponge or tube sponge, the soft coral. The small round brown corals, they're the stone or star corals or mushroom corals. Here we call those the potato corals. The brown corals and the white tips and yellow tips in clusters with the pointy ends. And the fire corals and the corals. If you come into contact with those corals, they're going to burn the festival in the portion of your skin. You do everything in a few seconds. The fire corals contain an acid. We have five formations of the fire corals in this area. They are parasite corals that is them growing off the other corals. The flat navy blue fish, that's a blue tang or surgeon doctor. The brown short stem plant is a sea rod. The sea rods vary in color from light brown to purple. What you see like gray sand on the bottom among the corals, not sand like on the beach. It's all decomposed corals, all crushed and sulfurized stuff. It's all organic. It's what you'll get in the nylon pool. The wrong green corals are the mustard hill corals. The big gray fish is the white belly screen party. Up in the front of there, there's a school of fish you see there, the silver doctors. The small blackfish, white tails, yellow tails, or jet black, they're all known as a damsel or drill fish or fighter fish. They're very aggressive. You get near the hole where they live and they come out and try to nibble you. They don't cater for size. <laughs> The silver fish, flat silver fish with the black dot on the tail is a four-eyed or four-eyed butterfly fish. Are you just on the boat or not? They all come up on the Yeah. The tall gray structures are the gray mountainous corals. They go to between 7 to 11 feet in height. We have two formations of the mountain corals here. One is brown, one is gray. Hello. Look at Riley. Thank you, Riley. The corals are animals, as such, they need favorable conditions in which to grow, like an open area and a lot of sunlight. Also, the water must not have too much salinity and no mud for these corals to prosper. Out of 535 different formations of corals, around 200 are rebuilding corals. The rebuilding corals go from 150 feet up to the surface and out to sea, not into land. When they meet the surface, they die. What dies become crush up and become manure to feed the living ones. The other formations of corals they grow like big rocks out in the ocean. These corals here, they go quarter an inch to half an inch per year. The only one that will go a full inch is the elkhorn or plate corals or antler corals. And they make up the fourth side of the reef where you see in the breakers. The brown family plant there is a sea fern or sea feather. Yeah, I just, I just it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Only the top of the cone is alive. The bottom is dead. If you watch the top of the cone carefully, you'll notice what looks like tiny holes. The animals of the cones, they live in those holes. They tend to come out at night and they feed on microscopic animals, baby fish, and sand. The corroded areas of the corals will be called products that have been eaten by the parrotfish. Because the star corals are predominant in the area here is not the star coral garden. Now always see the breakers, that's our reef. The reef starts at pigeon point, runs around for up to five and a half miles in a semicircle going back into the Golden Grove Beach area close to the village Buku. That's why it's named Buku Reef. It's the nearest village to the reef that it's named after. Our reef here, it's a fringing reef, but it acts as a barrier. Mm -hmm. With all this reef here, all the low line here, like Golden Grove, but the Court Pigeon Court Estate will be underwater. The land is lower than the sea level at this point. The reef encloses 539 hectare acres, which will include the Bonacourt Lagoon, the Reef Lagoon, and all the swamp area bounding the shore. So it's a very big area. <laughs> yeah. black and yellow fish, they be sad and Yeah, they look like that. They look like clubs, right? These are the spiky fire crawls here, brown with yellow tips. In the back box here, the black and white fish with the red tummy, the spotted little stoplight part, fish feeding. The male is green body, yellow and red on the tail. And the, among the part fish, the males are the good looking ones. <laughs> Always. <laughs> this should be most colored of them. You can miss it, huh? These Scroll yellow chips are the whole in the center there, the pie sponge and chips sponge are soft corals. Okay. Nice one. What we are going to be doing now, after here, is the second part of the trip, and Chile will explain to you. Okay folks, our another stop is going to be the snorkeling. Now the area in which you're going to be snorkeling is going to be right here in the Pearl Garden. It's more like for swimmers, not learners. Anybody will be interested in snorkeling? Okay, if we have no snorkelers, we'll spend a little more time in the island pool. Alright? Everybody in agreement with that? Yes. Okay. And we'll take you all over to the island pool where your wishes are going to come true. <laughs> <laughs> Fast, 